HPC or high performance computing. What is it? Why is it so important for your business? And what opportunities does it bring for your organization? Dr. Neil Ashton, he's the principal computation fluid dynamic specialist solution architect at AWS, and he's here to share the latest developments with HPC. Welcome to our show, Neil. Thanks. Good to be here. So organizations are increasingly adopting HPC technology. As the demand and the availability grows, it quickly becomes mainstream. Can you explain what HPC is and how it helps companies to innovate faster? Yeah, sure. So I suppose a simple way of putting it would just be using lots of computing power to solve some of the world's greatest challenges. You know, whether it's climate modeling, so you get the weather forecasts, whether it's doing fluid dynamics to design the next generation of cars or planes, or even developing next generation medicines. You know, it's all about using lots of compute to solve problems. And if you think about it in the past, you know, this was very much restricted to, um, you know, national institutes, you know, research centers. But over time, as, you know, computer power increased and got more affordable, it started to come into the realm of, um, you know, engineering companies and enterprise companies out there. Um, and, and now, of course, you know, AWS is coming in to offer it on the cloud as a kind of pay-as-you-go manner, which is really changing the whole model completely. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can talk a little bit about that today. So now that HPC is available also in the cloud, it can easily be applied to innovate faster, basically, in any industry, and one of them is the sports industry. Can you give some examples? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, the thing is, if you look at motorsports like Formula One or things like America's Cup, you know, on the water, it's all about speed. You know, how do I develop this thing as fast as possible to take it, let's say, to a circuit, you know, in a couple of weeks in the case of uh, Formula One, or taking it to, you know, a test? And so they're really looking for agility and speed and performance. And I think this is really, really where high performance comes in. And a really good example of that is Formula One. So we've been working with Formula One for them to design the next car. It's actually going to be coming next year. Now, anyone who's watching Formula One, this season has been fantastic. But I think there has been issues in the past around like lack of overtaking, that they couldn't you know, um, overtake each other. And they basically found that this was a lot to do with aerodynamics, you know, how the air's flown over the car. So they needed to design a better car. And to do that, they used computational fluid dynamics, what's in my, my title, which is basically about trying to use computer software to design these cars. But you need lots of compute. So they were previously restricted to only using a couple of hundred cores. So, you know, a laptop has what, four cores maybe, so, you know, however many of those. But the simulations were taking maybe 60 hours to do. So you're sat at your desk as an engineer, you press go, and you don't get the answer back for three days. Whereas when they moved on to AWS and you know they could take advantage of all the capacity in the cloud, they could actually run these simulations in less than 10 hours uh, because they're able to spin up to using thousands of computer cores. Uh, and the same with Ineos when they're designing these amazing boats. I don't know if you're into sailing or if you've seen them, but they're, they're actually flying over the water. Um, but they're so complicated because the sail, you know, needs a certain shape to it. Um, it flexes in the wind. So they have to do lots and lots of simulations. And, you know, they basically were being restricted before. They were using high-performance computing, but they were using it on-prem. Whereas when they came to AWS, they were able just to do like 20 times more simulations. They could just spin off these tens of thousands and get them back. So yeah, it's this high performance computing and high performance computing in the cloud through AWS is really actually making a difference to some of these really cool sports. Yeah, I've seen these sailboats and Formula One cars and it's really impressive how they use data to improve the performance in such a short period of time. Now, HPC technology is developed very rapidly. Can you share the most important ones and what opportunities these bring to organizations? So I think one of the, the, the big ones is around this blend now of high-performance computing and machine learning. I mean, in some ways, machine learning needs high-performance computing. If you're going to use lots and lots of GPUs to train models, you need high-performance computing. But it's really this blend. So it's about, for example, if you're going to be generating all this data from all these simulations, then the logical next step is to think, well, you know, this is what machine learning models need. They need data. And if we've got all this data 
and we've got so there's you know, the inputs and we've got the outputs being all the result of these simulations so you know faster cars or boats or whatever then how about if we start to train like a deep learning model in the middle to be able to link between the inputs and the outputs start to train it on all these models and then you potentially have the dream of being able to do this you know thousands of times faster because the inference of these machine machine learning models takes you know seconds so i think that's really the the, the next step which is super exciting the blend of high performance computing and machine learning thank you neil for these exciting hpc use cases in both sports but also in the other industries i believe businesses can really learn a lot from for example formula one in using hpc to to innovate for the audience thanks as well thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time